Winston Edmonton here with Studio B. I'm going to visit with Chris Ratcliffe and find a little bit about what's what's happening here. There's a lot of excitement. We've got a waterfall. Chris, what are you what are you doing? Well, we're the Advanced Software Division at EMC. We've just announced a product this week called uh, called Viper. We got these gorgeous T-shirts. We got a great logo for our product. Um, Essentially what Viper does, it's of interest to all our enterprise customers but and the service providers as well. What it does is it gives them the, the ability to create a massive pool of virtualized storage from their existing storage infrastructure, which is why we have our global storage pool. Uh -huh. We have a waterfall here which was demanded by our superheroes. They need a fountain of solitude wherever they go to relax from the stresses of everyday life, so we had to build one for them. But what our product Viper does is, is it essentially gives our customers the ability to massively automate all aspects of their storage infrastructure that right. they have today. Hey, hey, automation's a great thing. Automa automation. Automation's <laughs> awesome. Automation. All right, hey, yeah. Chris. Hey, how you doing? What is the story here? What, who, who, who do we have here? So we have a group of superheroes, as you can see from over there. We got Sage, we got Dr. Stratus, we got Captain Data Center. This is StorageBot. I'm StorageBot. StorageBot has a unique ability to automate people's storage infrastructure. In the past, people needed a superhero like him to provide automation. Now they don't. They got Viper. So you're you're antiquated, what buddy. What do you say? Either you're born with it or you're not. That's it. You either get it or you don't. I got it. And he's got it. I got it big time. Good stuff. Now, you, really, there are a lot. There's a lot of excitement about Viper. In fact, we were over at uh, Oracle and they were talking about uh, Viper. It's, it's, yeah. I mean, everyone's talking about it. Why is it so important right now? Why is this the future? Is this where everything's headed? It is. It's it's completely unique. It's a completely unique product. Software-defined storage is redefining the storage industry. Um, customers want completely automated infrastructure, as as Storage Battle tell you. <laughs> and the reason they want completely automated infrastructure because storage is an storage results in inherently manual processes. Right? There's lots of repetitive repetitive tasks that are handled on a day-to-day -day basis by storage administrators. Every time a human being touches something, it's not a matter of if something's going to go wrong, it's when something's going to go wrong, right? So this is the way of the future. Um, and so what Viper gives our customers the ability to do is to take that risk out. They can audit things that took them 20 steps, 30 steps, 40 steps in the past, they can now do with a single click. Automates your infrastructure, gives them self-service capability, makes it very easy for them to, to grow their infrastructure, to do things like big data analytics. Um, and, and it's a product that we're going to ship in the second half of the year. Exciting. Now, Chris, uh, they say hindsight is 2020. Let's give some, some customers some hindsight by telling them, maybe they don't realize it yet, but let's talk to the industries that really could take advantage of this. What are some industries or some, some uh, types of businesses that would be great potential customers for this product? Well, there's two classes that we tend to think of. One is enterprise customers and one is service providers. If you're an enterprise customer and you have more than one storage array, uh, Viper's going to save you time. The other thing that Viper will give, um, give, to, give to service providers is it gives them the ability to build an extent, they have a platform that's eminently extensible. They can not only offer self-service capability to their customers, they have the ability through us or through themselves, through the open platform that we provide, to extend it and add more functionality that they can then deliver to their customers, build unique services that they can deliver through their customers. Viper is it's the platform of the future for, for storage. Viper's awesome. And if for no other reason, just he the, loves it. If, love if for no other reason, just to do away with the necess necessity of, of this guy. They can yeah. they can virtualize it without this guy. Well the thing is, he it's it's really it's the next generation of storage bot. <laughs> Sounds good. Now let's the future and the future is now. It's <laughs> a good point. Come this way a little bit. Now tell me again, uh, you, Chris? I've seen some superheroes floating around, but I've got to tell you, here at the storage pool, these are the loveliest superheroes I've seen on the floor. Tell me, what, who do we have here? What, so right here, we've got uh, Sage on the left, we've got Netwoman on the right, and we have the Virtualizer in the middle. And what, what, these, what our superheroes have, they have very specific superpowers that you need today to manage your storage infrastructure, right? The ability to virtualize. Um, and so the, the great thing about what we have here is the products we have give you those superpowers. So not everybody looks good in tights, right? <laughs> so, uh, so, so you don't have to be a superhero to manage your storage infrastructure. You don't have to be a superhero to manage your virtualized infrastructure. You don't have to be a superhero to deliver very high levels of, of service to your customers, right? You can get that with the products that we have here. We have storage resource management suite, service assurance suite, and obviously the new product, Viper. Very exciting. Tell you what, we've got two of you, we've got the, uh, the robot here. Seem like you're capable. I'm going to let you close out Studio B for I'll, me. I'm going to explore these superheroes a little bit more. I'll, I'll happily do that. So from StorageBot, 
and myself, Chris Ratcliffe. This is Studio B signing out. Good night. Good night.